what's going on guys my name is Doug welcome to the video welcome to the channel especially if you're new I'm very happy that you guys decided to stop by and to check out this video today we're gonna to be listening to Don Tolliver's latest project heaven or hell and uh, needless to say I'm very very excited about what we're going to be getting on this project I can't recall off the top of my head the singles I know no idea is on there I'm not certain that situation is on this um, but if so I have heard those two tracks absolutely phenomenal tracks uh, clearly no idea went really viral on apps like TikTok and Twitter and things like that. Uh, phenomenal track situation kind of flew under a lot of people's radars, but I was lucky to get put onto it by uh, either Terrence or Terrell Mallory, one of the, one of the brothers. Uh, I saw them posting it on Twitter and um, thank God because that's a phenomenal track as well. So Don Tolliver rarely misses, honestly. I gave Donnie Womack a listen and I probably should have gotten it on camera. Unfortunately, I didn't. But um, very few skips on that project, if any, really. Super easy to just let it ride. Don Tolliver always brings a very dynamic performance, very captivating flows and melodies, and he has a very solid ear for production and for choosing his beats wisely. You know, those are just some of the reasons why I'm very excited going into this, and I, I'm just happy that you guys decided to listen to it for the first time with me. So um, this is my first listen, by the way. I'm, I'm so hyped i have no idea what to really expect for a lot of these tracks uh so i don't really want to waste too much more of your time i want to get right into it um just an update on putting y'all on today i'm recording this on the 15th putting y'all on was supposed to drop today clearly it isn't um i do have some other stuff going on i've got lots of other videos to record uh, my wife is feeling a little sick i'm also taking care of her I'm trying to take care of myself as well so that i don't get sick or anything like that because that would really screw up my recording schedule in any case i'm trying to get putting y'all on out to you guys by wednesday this week so the deadline was today i'm shifting it to wednesday because that's when i'm trying to get this video out to you guys so submit your tracks to my instagram dms you have until wednesday to do so and then um the next putting y'all on video after that should be on april 15th and with that said, uh, let's jump right into this. I still have to pull it up on Spotify because I'm super unprofessional. First track, Heaven or Hell, title track. Let's get into it. Kind of sounds like black. Sad story, if I had a suit on bed, it's Robert or a king. Yo, these little synth chops are really dope. Huh. It's a very interesting choice for a snare. Yeah. Super chill and it rides. I'm really liking this. Um, <clears throat> it's very creative. You know, it's very unexpected uh, the way that he, I mean, I say he, but the, the producer, the engineer mixed everything. Uh, those synths, ch the synth chops, the interesting little snare. You know, this beat is very low key. It's very wavy. It's got a very understated kind of vibe to it. It rides, you know, really well. Don Tolliver also keeps his performance very in check. You know, he, he holds the reins back a little bit to really make this just a smooth, smooth intro. Very soft, um, but still like, it's a trip to listen to, especially with the chopped and screwed, you know, the slowed down portion towards the end with those synths. Uh, super enjoyable, man. It's a really great title track. Um, definitely not as energetic as I was expecting. Very smooth, you know, to, to lead us into this project. The next track is Euphoria, featuring Travis Scott and Cash Page. I'm drowning in euphoria. Mm. Drowning in euphoria. I was excited to see Travis along with Don Tolliver. Mm. Wow. Oh, that's smooth, man. Oh my god, that little falsetto? What? Donnie does it. It's a phenomenal track, dude. Again, super smooth, you know, very subtle, very laid back. Crazy track to kick back to and, and vibe to. Late night, put your headphones on and just chill. Fantastic features. Very little of Donnie on this track, but I mean, he carried so much with that little falsetto. It's very interesting to hear how he and Travis Scott are kind of in the same lane of music, but they both have different approaches as to how they uh, they actually perform their tracks. You know, Travis Scott and Don Tolliver both play with the dynamics in their verses. Travis Scott starting off with the aggressive, 
higher pitched, you know, rap kind of flow and then transitioning into a an octave lower singing kind of voice and just kind of like transitioning from that very um, energetic to really smooth performance. Um, Don Tolliver does the same thing, but instead of playing with the intensity of his, his performance, he plays with the pitches. He, he comes in with this in ridiculous falsetto that sounds absolutely heavenly. And then he, he brings his actual performance down also, but um, without ever being as abrasive as Travis, you know? It, it's, it's a much more subtle, softer playing with the dynamics on his part. I think that they, they all sound great though. Love the instruments. I love that pad that just came in very, very slowly. Um, I honestly couldn't really tell when it began. Maybe I wasn't paying attention to it or, um, or maybe it just happened so subtly that I just didn't notice, but I think it's, it's a great track. I love it. My wife is in the background listening to it for the first time as well. She loves Travis, she loves Donnie, and she's going nuts too. She's already adding stuff to her playlist. And um, yeah, so it's, it's called Heaven or Hell. Is there going to be like a concept to this project? Because the first two tracks are very smooth, very soft, very wavy. Is that going to be heaven? And then about halfway through, we're gonna get more aggressive, abrasive tracks and that's hell. Um, if I get that right off of track two, then you have to subscribe. And if I get it wrong, you still have to subscribe. <laughs> It's so nice to be able to listen to this in high quality, you know, we had all, we only had the snippet from the Travis Scott documentary. Hearing the final mix is just so exciting. Love the switch up towards the end where we, he brought in the, the piano and the little synths, um, just riffing basically. It sounds awesome. Love the little melody that they play. It's everything that I wanted it to be. I already had a, an idea of what the chorus was because of the Travis Scott documentary, but you know, actually getting, uh, getting a final version of this track is just super exciting and um, it's just as good as I wanted it to be. Kept it nice and short, didn't go into an unnecessary third verse. Gave us the chorus that we wanted three times. You know, it's super catchy, it's bouncy, it's got awesome vibes. And um, yeah, he's just, he's killing it. You know, it is what it is. Next track is After Party. Okay, I pull up, hop out at the after party. The horns are crazy, and there's uh, really dope melodies going on. And when he dropped the beat, the beat is super hard. The, the kick is super punchy and, and um, it, it really bounces and it really knocks, but I'm, I'm hearing some like dissonant little melodies going on as soon as that, that beat drops, you know what I mean? So that, that really caught me off guard and I was trying to pick out what it was that sounded like it, like it was dissonant or like it wasn't really in key or something like that. Um, maybe it's just, I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm trying to pick it out. <laughs> It sounds like either they took that little high-pitched melody and put gross beat on it and it just sounds like it's not meshing very well with the little bass, um, or it's a completely different melody that's being played by a harp or something like that, an octave lower. And I just don't think that it's, it's meshing too well. I think it's clashing a little bit with some of the other lower frequencies. Um, maybe with headphones it'll be panned or something like that and it'll sound better and it'll make more sense. My speaker is in mono, so that may very well be the issue as well. I always like to give the tracks and the mixes the benefit of the doubt, you know, especially since I'm listening to them on a little $40 speaker that's in mono. So um, I'll get a better handle on it with headphones on, but something in it right now has really caught my attention. And um, yeah, it's, it's a little tough to get into Don Tolliver's performance because of it. I also don't think that that little up, um, upper melody, the little higher pitched melody that, that does like a little descending pattern uh, fits very well with the actual synth bass pattern. I think that they should have kept either the bass a little simple and had that upper melody or uh, done the bass line and had the upper melody either copy it or not have it at all. Um, 
just so that we don't have two different clashing melodies going on at the same time in different frequencies. Uh, just because it's it's a little tough to focus, you know, it, it doesn't sound great in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to listen to that one again with headphones on to get a, a real grasp on it. Coming off my speaker, I, I, I think that that might be the first miss, but um, if I listen to it with headphones on and the mix makes a little more sense and, and things aren't clashing the way that they seem to be, then I'll, I'll update you guys, you know, with like a post on the community page or something. I know that a lot of people really like this track, so I'm assuming, I'm assuming that it's just my speaker's fault. And um, yeah, I'll update you guys with my opinion on that one, but for right now, we're skipping that one. vocalizing in the background as well sounds great as he's harmonizing with his own vocals um, it adds a fullness to the track it adds polish you know it adds a whole other layer to the production as well um, really sounds great right now <laughs> yeah I think that that one is is great especially coming out off of after party which was a weaker track uh, this one kind of gets us back into it, you know, it's smooth again, it's a slower track. Don Tolliver's performance is great. Uh, the bass line's nice and simple because we do have a little bit more of a complex plucked melody going on on the high end, and I think that, you know, they mesh really well in a way that the melodies on After Party didn't. So, you know, After Party, refer to Wasted in order to uh, get your melodies right. <laughs> But yeah, this is a this is a really nice track. I added it to my playlist too. The bass line has my attention. The sub is crazy. This is hard, dude. Those synths that come in for the chorus are absolutely great. Uh, they add a huge emphasis on the fact that, you know, the, the chorus is here, we're going into the hook. Um, super nice to have that distinction between the verses and the chorus. Subtle, but it helps. Love the bounce to the beat, love the energy, love his performance. This is a great track, one of my favorites. All of these so far, except for After Party, have actually made it onto my playlist because, um, yeah, I'm really rocking with all of these. Next track is Candy. <laughs> Vocal chops, syncopated plucks, love it. I'm loving the production right now. So much going on. Oh my god. I love that, what he was singing there at the end. Um, don't know if that's just the outro to the track or if that's like a snippet of something that's coming in the future, but um, love this track, love everything about it. It's got a really interesting creative rhythm, uh, great production, rising and falling synths, some are more distorted than others, syncopated melodies, nice uh, syncopated drums, and, and the really nice little hi-hat in the background with a little filter over it so that it doesn't sound too shrill or too harsh or distracting from everything else that's going on around it. Uh, everything is just kind of like a very supportive cinematic base for Don Tolliver and his performance uh, and his vocals. Super interesting. And then we get into that guitar solo that leads us right into this little snippet slash outro. Um, I think it's great. That one might be a little hit or miss for everybody because um, it's one of the more different tracks, I guess, but in my opinion, it's one of the best ones so far.
have used this earlier. Yeah, you know, I think that the, the drop could have come way earlier. I could have really used that. For this kind of listen where you're, you're looking to, you know, critique and to analyze, it, it got a little boring. Um, it sounds great though, in my opinion. I, I think that on a casual listen, it's gonna be super easy to kick back to and kind of vibe to his, his vocals, his performance. There isn't too much going on though, which is why I wish that the track either would have been shorter or that the beat would have dropped a little sooner, you know, because that would have really spiced this up, made it, made this a little better. Um, because at, until about two minutes in, it really just sounds like an interlude. Um, so, you know, this one is, is a little iffy. Uh, it's got some issues, but it still sounds good. You know what I mean? Next track is Had Enough, featuring Quavo and Offset. Oh, this is the cutoff of uh, Jack Boys. Should have recognized the title. Um, if you want to see my reaction to that, watch my reaction to Jack Boys. I think it's called Producer Eats Candy and Listens to Jack Boys. So uh, be sure to check that out. Next track is Spaceship featuring Sheck Wes. My issue with this track is the production. Somehow this beat managed to be not melodic enough for Don Tolliver to be singing over it, but also too melodic for Sheck West to be doing straight rap over it. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe with subsequent listens it'll sound a little better to me, but I just don't think that this beat was right for both of them. You know, I think that they tried to do their thing. You know, they tried to make it work, but not even two phenomenal artists could, uh, could make this beat, you know, really work. Something about it is just off, in my opinion. Um, the last track that we're going to be listening to today is No Photos. The reason I'm not listening to No Idea is because, like I said at the beginning, I've already heard it, you know, and, and honestly, if you haven't heard it, um, do you live under a... I mean, who hasn't heard No Idea at this point? We're not going to be reacting to it because that wouldn't be uh, genuine, a genuine first listen, so No Photos is the last track of the day. <laughs> about Donnie. The bounce is great. Love the layered pitch vocals. Uh, yeah, that's a super strong track to close us out, especially having no idea afterwards, which is also a great track. It's a super solid ending to the project. You know, I think that that was great. Uh, love the, the production on there, love his performance. That's really everything that we love about Don Tolliver in one track. So, uh, you know, there's really no hating on it in my opinion um heaven or hell you know i kind of would have appreciated it if he did kind of go with a little bit of a theme or a concept for it you know and have some very soft tracks and then transition into some very aggressive tracks to play on the heaven and hell uh concept but you know it is what it is uh we still got a very solid outing from don Tolliver. kept it short kept the track list short we had like three misses, maybe, and, and I'm not even certain that they're misses. I, this is only one listen in, um, so I need to hear them a little more to really decide. I might give a final thoughts video on this one or not, but just super solid. Loved most of these tracks. Most of them made it onto my playlist. Most of them are extremely well produced. They have very great performances from Don Tolliver and, and from the features as well. I'm not certain whether or not my favorite track is Euphoria or which one was it? Candy? Was it Candy that had the really interesting production? I think it was Candy. But um, yeah, it might end up being one of those two. You know, great track, uh, great tracks, and great project from Don Tolliver. Very happy with it, not disappointed by it at all. Um, thoroughly enjoyed listening to it. And uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section. Let me know whether or not some of these tracks grew for you, they grew on you, and uh, which ones that you kind of didn't think were so good. I want to say thank you all so much for watching the video. You all know how to support, you know, a YouTube channel. So um, there's a myriad of different ways. Patreon, follow my social media, membership, subscriptions, you know. So uh, I'm just going to let you guys do your thing, support the channel however you see fit. And um, I'm going to be back in another video very soon. Don't forget, putting y'all on Wednesday by the latest, unless you know, tragedy strikes and I get sick, then I'll update you guys on the community page. So keep an eye on that. 
And um, yeah, thanks again, guys, for watching the video. I'll be back soon. Until then, stay safe. Peace out.